So shall I start? Hello? Hello? Just one sec, sir. Hello everyone. Present here virtually. Hello. Yeah. Hello everyone. Present here virtually. I am a Sakshi here, and I welcome you all the to the today's session, which is titled as. Chronical kidney disease and a diet management. And presenting this session, we have a, a, a dietitian Swapan Banerjee. Swapan Banerjee is a, one of the reputed uh, world famous diet consultants. Has a seven clinic in a West Bengal. Apart from Siliguri Richie, he has a twenty three years of experiment experience with uh, more than twenty k successful recovery patient. He has a Two PG degrees and a PhD and a twenty-five global certificate from a FAO, CPD, and a SGS, including Harvard, um, Cambridge, and others. He is the editor in chief of a preventive medicine and a holistic health journal, and the reviewer of more than fifteen international journals. So far, he has published more than thirty-two international high-indexed peer-reviewed journals, six books chapters, and uh, four uh, books on the health and nutrition in the clinical com industry niche. He got three times research excellence award apart from other achievements. Uh, you may start now, sir. Yes, thank you for uh, long introduction. It's really a great pleasure to be here to share my knowledge in diet and nutrition among all. Thank you, giving thank you, Shakshi and the Research Circle for giving me an opportunity to share uh, the very burning topic in health in healthcare segment that's kidney disease. I think in India uh, you must be. the participants must be knowing that a uh, very large number of people are suffering from kidney diseases various diseases kidney diseases right mostly people who are diabetic or even in younger age they were somehow under dialysis condition or ckd stage 1 or stage 2 so we are more concerned about uh good medi proper medicine by physician nephrologists and right diet so i am as a dietitian concerning the diet parts so let's have a start i am a swapan banerjee dietitian nutrition researcher and lecturer in paramedical college nursing and paramedical college a member of isp quality council of india a member of diploma honorary member in london uh, nutrition society of india that's icmr nin hyderabad indian dietetics association I'm also certified by top level food association boards like FSSA, ICPD, UNICEF, IRCA, and registered dietitian board by IDA. so what is kidney chronic kidney disease or ckd ckd is a slow loss of kidney function we you know we have two kidneys and that they function as filtering blood and some poisonous material rejected material so it's a filter filter hum log ghar mein use karte hain kitchen mein chakni filtration for tea and other material so it's our rejected material to be filtrated by kidneys only so you imagine if you cannot filter your rejected material every day we are eating 
or such as high protein protein excreted material urea uric acid right amino 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 ammonia you know the uh, the toilet test is something like right? so ammonia urea uric acid these are the uh, material that need to be excreted from the body kidneys are also excreted such waste material and extra water so they also balance chemical in the body help and control blood pressure some hormones adrenaline epinephrine norepinephrine these are the hormones should be balanced by kidney but if you kidneys are not functioning well then what will happen so what about the prevalence the global prevalence of kidney disease is 12 to 15 percent imagine so out of 115 percent people are suffering all over the world and patients with end stage kidney eskd also having problem renal replacement therapy they are hospitalized patient they are critical patients they are also estimated as between 5 to 7 million as per 2019 report from a china publication right and that has been that was published in pubmed cheng zheng 2019 publication now you can see a picture global prevalence rate where is india you can see out of 100 30 is china around 30% of prevalence rate india is in and around 20% right nepal is more iran is less nigeria moldova bolivia these are the top uh, 10 countries we have we have taken here and bangladesh is having because people are having more red meat or some other alcohol maybe uh, improper lifestyles so we have to aware the people whether it is india or bangladesh or china or mongolia or usa or Ch uk right the next one is social determinants of ckd this is the main determinants if you like to make yes. healthy or keep healthy your kidneys and the uh, control kidney diseases then what should be taken care we have to taken care we have to take care on health care genetical matters individual choices and behaviors like you were using in metro rail how many people are using stairs instead of accelerator so do you walk properly do you use do you have a minimum level of sunlight do you have excess animal protein and uh, do you have excess vegetables do you have fruits so you ask your questions in your mind that means we somehow do not have right behavioral and regular lifestyles as per diet or exercise is concerned so social and environmental factor social means we are always sitting at home not gathering not talking to someone so we are not even social somebody is more social always engaged in facebook there is no such work but always engaged in facebook somebody is uh, always moving in uh, local tea shop and other local mahalla mein ghumte rehta hai environmental factor so we are you not using mask so having pollution whether it is sound pollution whether it is a uh, 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 dust pollution or plastic pollution so pollution is another matter so all together these are the factors and that we have to take a social determinants for a person that may cause kidney for today or tomorrow and long run so everybody can hear my voice madam hello yes sir hello uh, yes sir yes you can hear my voice thank you so i can carry on so what about the progression of ckd so how now i have tried to make my slides very simple for common people not for scientific people right now i have not discussed very bombastic scientific and medical terminologies or medical mode of actions i just talk about how what about ckd how when what where which and how should a common people take care a common person should take care kidney health and 
to control kidney diseases. Now, you people must be aware that there are a lot of people in surrounding you are suffering from CKD, right? Whether it is uh, stage one or stage two or hospitalized or even under dialysis. So if you have a basic level of knowledge, then you can control, you can aware your neighbors, you can aware your family and friends, right? So this is the issue I am concerned here. Now, what are the complication progressions starting from normal screening of CKD increased risk so it is a reduction, CKD risk factor reduction is whether happening or not damaging. So what are the comorbidity condition, whether more comorbidities, like you have obesity, like you have underweight also, you have diabetes, you have high blood pressure, you have some cirrhosis, liver issue, you have some mental condition, right? Now you can, that way you can, you are silently damaging your kidneys and uh, progressing to the CKD. Now, what are the GFR? That is a parameter to measure the kidney diseases. That whether your kidney is going to damage soon or currently is under damages condition. So it is a GFR filtration, glomerulus filtration rate. If your filtration rate is more than 90 or more than 70, then you, your kidneys are functioning well. That is they are filtrating, filtering properly the waste material, water and all. If it is less than 50, then it is some, something wrong. And you have to take care immediately and you have to you have to rush to the doctor and dietitian. So this is the ultimately the kidney failure chances and you may replacement or dialysis. Dialysis is the clear blood filtration of blood. So death is finally. So God bless you. You should take your kidney disease and uh, we should avoid maximum mortality rate. Now, what are the basic causes? For the male people, mostly the males are having such problem, female as, as another issues. Females are having some menstrual issues. Some sh now modern female in colleges, studying in colleges or universities or even in uh, uh, families, in the, in, the, in the families, in social gatherings, they are taking smoking, alcohol, less physical activities, more carbohydrate, more fat, and more fast foods like Coca-Cola, thumbs up, and all biryani, roll, chow mein, chicken and all. Whether you are North Indian people are having more vegetarian, but still the people are having butter and ghee. And also having biryani, butter, uh, toast and bir uh, aloo biryani and uh, veg biryani. So better you avoid all kind of high fat diet. And you have some physical activity. I have discussed that there should be 150 minutes to 200 minutes in a week. You should have a basic level of physical activities. Apart from uh, avoid alcohol, avoid smoking and tobacco products and a healthy diet. So, and also control your sugar level, control hypertension. For that, you can control your moods. You can, you, sh you must have a control by meditation, yoga and all. These such levels of comorbidities. So, what are the causes? Causes are frequent causes of kidney disease are diabetes, blood pressure, obesity, aging. So kidney disease, you should immediately talk to the physician and better nephrologist. The kind of treatment you might you get may depend on the cause of kidney condition. So there should be a record of kidney uh, past history and current going and the forthcoming days. So you should have a record of your kidney functioning and your medicine history, your diet history, right? So what are the risk factors? The major risk factors I already told diabetes, blood pressure, heart also. The you can see the kidney kidney disease people are feeling uh, chest pain and some heart diseases. So better you avoid uh, uh, some high fat diet so you can avoid your CVD and the family history of kidney autoimmune disorder. Here I cannot alle allegation or blame patient because the autoimmune disorders are response patients are not individually responsible but the fam genetical matter is involved, involved and the patient should take care at first since childhood that I am having some genetical disorder as per kidney disease a concern. So better you control diet since childhood, control cardiovascular health, manage your uh, blood pressure, control sugar level and all. You should have your sugar level since childhood that time. And the chronic renal disease frequently worsen over the time and it may up to failure of kidney. So patient need kidney dialysis or kidney transplantation. Now here is a just 
short table about the outcome of kidney in stage wise. So susceptibility factor, increased susceptibility to kidney damage, so older age, family history, kidney mass, low birth weight, racial factor, ethnicity factor, low income education, initial factor, the directly initial kidney damage, diabetes, blood pressure, autoimmune disorder, urinary tract infection, the, you know the females, the older women, people, your mothers, your mother or your grandmother may, have, may have been suffering from UTI, recurrent UTI, right? Or kidney stones or urinary stones, urinary cysts. So lower urinary tract obstruction, some drug intake and unknowingly drug toxicity, hereditary factor. Now what are the progression cases, fractures, cause of worsening kidney damage, faster decline of kidney function. So high level of protein excretion through urine, so you have to check your urine, having excess protein through urine, excess protein in blood, poor glycemic control, and poor blood sugar control. So you have to control your carb diet, high fat diet, high level of exercise. So that means you have to control your diabetes, your sugar, possibly, and also you have to manage your dyslipidemia, means your triglycerides. Sometimes you are finding Last time, two years back, in last two years, due to COVID, we found all are in the home. The uh, male persons without work, uh, sitting at home, sleeping at home, having high level of triglyceride, high level of LDL, and less HDL. So the bad cholesterols are going up. That means you are dyslipidemia patient. So but you have to control your triglyceride and your uh, LDL. Right, and LDL, LDL, and tri mostly triglyceride is a very bad. Uh, it may cause even heart attack. So better you control your triglyceride in LDL, and parallelly, automatically, your HDL would go up because less can balance LDL and HDL means high level of HDL. So your total cholesterol should be less than 200. Triglyceride should be less than 150. And HDL should be more than 30. And LDL should be in around uh, 30, less than 30. And VLDL around less than, in and around 20 or less than 20. Now you have understood the parameter of blood of cholesterol, various types of cholesterol, uh, fat level. Now what are the end stage factors? Morbidity, mortality through your kidney mass. So we have to control dialysis Dialysis is not bad, it is good blood and uh, excreted products to remove. So, but dialysis is at the last stage. So better you control your, control through your diet and the medicine, at, right? Excess dialysis is not also required. So temporary vascular excess anemia, you can see the kidney patients are often suffering from low iron. So low iron is not required means you are anemic. So you need high iron. Even high iron may cause laxative function, poor laxative, means constipation issue. So you cannot go ahead, you cannot go backward. So once one step ahead, two steps backwards, or what you have to do, very serious condition. So better you start today to control and manage your kidneys. So healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, and healthy and selective medicine only by physician, right? There are the stages, stages of kidney, where stages you are in, if you are suffering from kidney diseases. So stage one is normal. I already told more than 90 GFR. That means still you have albuminuria. Albumin is available in egg and in other food product, but mostly egg. Proteinuria, say you are taking high level of chicken, fish, turkey, and foreign country in Turkey and other chicken meat, bud meat and all red meat. So you should have hematuria, uh, blood in urine. So more than 90 is very dangerous, I told. Kidney damage in mild GFR 60 to 89 means 90. So normal level of albuminuria, proteinuria, hematuria. Moderate means less GFR, so 30 to 59, correct? So you have to take, you have to manage your chronic renal insufficiency and early renal insufficiency and severe GFR. 15 to 29, okay? So here you have renal insufficiency and 
kidney failure less than 15 means your gfr less filtration more filtration is better less filtration means the worst material and excess water inside your body or in blood so it is not good not required not wanted that means if it is less than 15 gfr ml per minute 1.73 cubic matter way this way you can measure so that your doctor and your medical laboratory will tell but you have to have a basic idea about your kidney stages and your CKD stages coming to the same job I think so far we have understood the mode of action type of CKD classification how it works from where we have started from where to end now what what are the common factor we should know what are the common factor symptom you were often asking you people are asking that then you told so many things about classification ckd stages ckd consciousness ckd awareness now what are the symptom here are the basic symptom even you were started even you were 20 i have since I'm a practitioner dietitian, I could I can share my experience that I have many patients who are young boys, young chap, young adolescent, or very early ages gentlemen, even around 22 to 25 years of age, having going to dialysis condition. Boys having CKD4 stage, CKD5 stage means serious, severe stages. Yes, these are cases some genetical, but do you think often genetical, all time genetical? No, some of the, I found a few days back, I found one gentleman came to me for the diet suffering only uh, age, age is only 32, right? I found his uh, dietary habit was very poor. He doesn't care about anybody. He doesn't care about his mother. He is desperate about his uh, wife. He has two children, but he is less concerned about his diet. Because he, 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 every time he goes out by his motorbike, he first he takes mutton, mutton chili chicken, paneer the piyaja, chili the ch chicken the piyaja, and that a lot of piyaja, a lot of uh, chicken item and mutton item and alcohol. And every day night, uh, he has more than 120 ml of alcohol. Now what is happening? Don't you think he is destroying himself? So better you consult your personally aware to your friend and families, your family members, that better you control your poor diet, high animal diet. So what are the symptoms? Chest pain, dry skin, itching, fatigue, headaches. I don't think often now I'm suffering from little headache because of migraine, but migraine is different. And the uh, kidney diseases headache are different, but it should be a chronic headaches. Increased urination, maybe sugar level, anorexia means no interest of food. You are not taking food since 12 hours. Insomnia, no sleep. Sleepless nights, what will happen? When muscular cramps, nausea, vomiting, hypoxia and hypoxemia, you could have fun. You have so many cases during COVID, right? In second wave, what are the what we found that a lot of people were suffering from oxygen. Because of oxygen, so many people died. Because, of, because our blood sufficient level produce oxygen. The oxygen part is from lungs and alveoli, alveolus part. So if you cannot produce enough oxygen in the blood, that is hypoxemia or in general hypoxia. Sleep disorders already I said, told insomnia and weight loss. You can find your uh, your elder friends are suffering from CKD. Uh, from 70 kilo to stiff, now they are having weight of around 40 kilo. So 30 kilo loss of weight. Why they are losing weight? Because they do not have interest of food. So they are having anemia. So altogether they are having a very, very uh, pathetic, life, pathetic life. And uh, God bless, they should carry their life not to die because of kidney kidney issues. What are the other health issues because of CKD? Polycystic kidney disease. There is some cyst in the kidney. 
that may cause in other infections or other factor toxic drugs you can you could find some of the medicine doctor may consult that whether you are you are taking continuously this this medicines or not some steroid medicine so many non steroidal uh, nsaids like ibuprofen you know that there are some pharma people here i don't know anybody pharma and some pharmaceutical industry they are more knowledgeable than me that some of the even in that seems today drugs today there are all the uh, medical encyclopedia books they often write the medicine may have chances of renal failure so that medicine your doctor must be more wise to dis- take decision about the medicine to have a long term kidney disease problem kidney affect problem right so renal artery stenosis lupus problem lupus is such problem that is having some kidney uh, iga is a something in the blood and we are having uh, allergy based uh, infection metal poisoning lead poisoning genetical issue alport syndrome any se- severe infection alport syndrome is something skin and skin uh, in your in the skin we are finding regular level of inflammation and like very severe blood capillaries coming out so any severe infection right hemolytic anemia so your uh, anemic uremic patient such a, see you cannot control your urine and your iron is broken so you you are often anemic so that's called hemolytic uremic syndrome but this iga hemolytic alport syndrome lupus these are not very common the common problem is diabetes the common problem is because of high blood pressure the common problem is high animal food intake diet intake based diet so these are commonly you must have a knowledge in your mind that i must uh, be careful about diabetes i must be careful about high blood pressure over it mostly you can control your weight why not you are controlling your weight so high level of weight may also lead to your ckd so forget about don't be afraid of alfort syndrome and lead poisoning lupus and iga and other autoimmune disorder concern about all diabetes and all factors right now what are the food factor now what i am i am a dietitian so better to discuss about diet and various good food and bad food right so what are the now we often confused right what about the good food and how food factors are affecting in our daily life that's why i have mentioned four food four ifs what are the four ifs food selections food factor food craving and final conclusion what are the food selection indian diet high level of energy dense apne kabhi shaadi bhi hame gaye apne kabhi chhota mota uh, birthday party mein gaye birthday mein aapko kya khilate hamare indian diet kaisa hai chahe bengali ho ya punjabi ho marwadi ho gujarati ho ya to north indian ho ya to east indian ho hamara shuru hi hota hai butter ghee biryani right lochi kachori parotha so many high calorie dense food hum log french or italian cuisine nahi karte red wine or brown bread or green salad or yogurt aisa thodi hota hai hamare party mein hamare party mein sare high level of food khilate hai jahan pe problem hote hai hamare bolte hai the the guests hote the deva bhava right to guest ko ye bolte hai ki bhai ye khao isme humko acha lagega लेकिन आपको अच्छा लगने में हमारे तो तबीयत खराब हो रहा है ना तो बेटर यू ऑल्सो कंसल्ट योर अच्छा लगने वाला को ये बोलिए भाई ये अच्छा नहीं है आप हमको ऐसा अगर खिला सकते खिलाइए बेटर टू रिज समिंग टू सिलेक्ट गुड फूड इफ इट इज पॉसिबल आई मस्ट से बट इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल देन यू हैव टू टेक वन डे इन ए मंथ और वंस इन ए ब्लू मून और वंस इन सिक्स मंथ राइट सो वट आर द फैक्टर न्यूट्रिशन नॉलेज जस्ट आई टोल्ड यू self efficiency efficacy social environmental factor peer group don't be under peer pressure environmental factor right canteen you are studying in college university 
you are going to rush into the canteen, taking coffee and some potato chips, right? So better you avoid food advertisement. Don't go with the advertisement. Advertisement is something commercial. It is a business, but you have to consider in your mind the business is right or wrong. So better you have a good food. Good food means fruits and vegetables, something low fat, low butter, low ghee, and all. The food craving industry worker and students are always haunted by food craving. Even you have uh, uh, fighting with your wife or husband, say vice versa. Even you were a student and just uh, fighting with your parents, and parent would say, "Okay, let's let's have a uh, one bar a katori or biryani or maggi or a one a chow mein or have a parotta." Sattu or alu ka paratha. Alu ka paratha me thoda chutney bhi dal diya jayega. Kya? Kaun sa chutney? Na uh, imli ka chutney, dhania ka chutney nahi. So better you select your food and you can manage your craving. But you can replace your craving, replace your uh, food, and you can manage your craving. Correct. So finally, taste food doesn't mean nutritious. Hamare panchendri ho ek Hindi me kya baat hai? Bangla me bolte hai ki. If you can manage your senses, what are the five senses? If you can manage your five senses, you are the winner. You are the winner. Apne mahapurush ho sakte. You are the great monk or you are the great person. But do you manage your senses? Hamare ham log bahar nikalte to kya lagta hai? To apple nahi khana hai, hamko biryani khana hai, right? To apple ke jagah mein biryani replacement ho raha hai. So we have to going under taste, not in nutrition. so proper nutrition from healthy food should be taken care in your mind so control your mind there are some psychologist in foreign country they taking only ye bulimia that's called eating disorder kuch ex wo apna gussa dikhate bahut zyada khana kha ke ulti karke gussa dikhate kabhi khana na kha ke bhi gussa dikhate to hamare elder parents log hote hain kabhi senior grandmother log hote hain ki wo kya ghar mein kya khana nahi khate A different reason, whatever the reasons, I don't know. But we are finding some emotional reason. The uh, we are showing our anger and not having food for seven days or not is possible seven days, but maybe two days, maybe three days. But that's not good. That's an ano bulimia, eating disorder, bulimia, nervosa, bulimia, anorexia. Those are not good, and that's because of your emotional ground, because of your dietary ground. We are considering. considering that we are self diet consciousness that's i'm doing keto diet something fasting diet so that consciousness also wrong consciousness wrong uh, awareness or wrong knowledge about diet correct so let's have stress what about stress don't don't you say that you have stress everybody has stress when a even a child studying in class 1 uh, asking my mother what will ask my madam सर इन स्कूल अब क्या पूछेगा स्कूल में पता नहीं तो वो घर में घर में ही वो टेंशन कर रहे सो व्हाट इज योर स्ट्रेस इज अनवांटेड मेंटल थिंकिंग और फिजिकल लेबर इन स्ट्रेस इज अनवांटेड पार्ट राइट आपको काम करना है 15 परसेंट आपने काम किया 20 परसेंट कितना परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा काम किया आपको मेंटल टेंशन लेना है ट्वेंटी परसेंट फिफ्टीन परसेंट आपने मेंटल टेंशन ले लिया ट्वेंटी परसेंट हाउ यू कैन पैरामीटर लोग क्वालिटी स्टडी कर सकते हैं राइट स्केलिंग स्टडी कर सकते हैं स्केलिंग स्टडी यू नो दैट राइट परसेंटेज और स्केलिंग स्टडी तो आपने कितना टेंशन में बहुत ज्यादा बहुत कम मॉडरेट राइट हेलो सर यस सॉरी टू डिस्टर्ब यू प्लीज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओनली हेलो हेलो सॉरी सॉरी टू डिस्टर्ब यू प्लीज यूज ओनली इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओके 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 सॉरी सो आई विल अंडरस्टैंड आई विल क्लियर आई विल टॉक अबाउट ओनली इंग्लिश स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट इन जनरल वेज व्हाट डू यू मैनेज योर स्ट्रेस स्लीप सफिशिएंट स्लीप एट आवर्स गुड डिलीशियस एंड न्यूट्रिशियस फूड्स राइट योगा एंड प्राणायाम बैलेंस्ड डाइट एंड प्लेंटी ऑफ फ्लूइड बट इन सीकेडी देयर 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 इज अ fluid restriction i'm not saying in general it's on stress management you should have enough water some lemon water some uh, chaj buttermilk and all but in general in kidney patient there are some fluid restriction water restriction that you have to consult your dietitian and doctor 
listening music you can control your stress and overall your long term kidney disorder time management okay so avoid overnight and long hour support early morning wake up no late night work this way you can control your lifestyle and your kidney health okay and your best way to manage kidney so i told about stress can affect kidney i told that your diet can affect kidney i told that some uh, in uh, some kind of poor and malfun mal and activities in your daily lifestyle may affect your kidney correct so what are the best way to manage kidney in general in total so in total we can control blood pressure control you have your blood pressure machine or you can ask your um, blood pressure sphygmo manometer right it will take only 20 or 30 rupees in your local medical shop you can control your blood pressure at no, at least if you are more than 40 years of age in female and 50 years 45 years of age in male but uh, i think even 30 years of old uh, male or female should have also periodical blood pressure check up so meet your sugar level in level right sugar level in level and uh, 80 to 72 not less than 70 not more than 100 some labs meet in 110 mg right and per uh, liter deciliter and blood sugar level and those are in diabetic or pre diabetic they can for pre diabetic they can reverse but in diabetic patient they also consult doctor for medicine take medicine by the physician diabetologist and nephrologist daily exercise a minimum 200 minutes that means around 3 hours in a week or meant that means how much per day so per day you can divide by uh, 200 minutes divided by 7 days into 24 hours right and uh, in maintain healthy weight you should not have i think so many uh, students younger people or elder people are often finding with overweight overweight is bmi more than 25 in a, an asian value more than 10 to 23 so if your bmi you can calculate in google you just calculate your uh, centimeter in height and weight whatever you are in currently so you can uh, take it may centimeter for example your height is 160 cm now 1.6 meter so 1.6 whole square is 2.56 meter that means you divide 80 kilo for example your weight is 80 kilo divided by 2.56 i think it would come in and around 28 to 30 bmi that means asian value asian people are more cvd patient and more dangerous so who told asian people uh, cut off value of uh, the bmi should be less that means you have to take care today itself that you should not have more weight and that can control your cvd and your um, uh, arthritis and your kidney disease overall correct so eight hours average sleep for good kidney and good health so no tobacco alcohol of course stress and depression monitoring health care by your doctor paramedical st- uh, staff and dietitian should get renal diet by an experienced dietitian correct now i will tell in short that what are the foods you have to take care high urea food what are the high urea food already i told many times red meat some dead fishes i don't know how many people are in south indian east part of india and south of south parts of india or mostly and maharashtra in some western uh, states in india are having fish and chicken and uh, mostly non vegetarian i am dis- i am discussing on vegetarian and non vegetarian both because 40% people are also vegetarian in india right and there are some typical vegan even they don't take uh, milk and milk products because of source of animal they are taking only vegetable and fruits so i am talking about the animal uh, Uh, vegetarian non vegetarian people they are more prone to kidney diseases so better to avoid or less amount of red meat seafood like some people are having rotten seafoods if you are in coastal area if you are in staying in coastal areas then you can have fresh foods but if i am staying in kolkata or somebody is staying in bhopal do you think bhopal people and kolkata people are getting the fresh seafood no the vizag chennai mumbai and the coastal people have fresh seafood so fresh seafood is good 
and but excess seafood and marine fish are more salted so avoid unwanted uh, eggs cheese milk and uh, yogurt and etc salt and salted chips and etc so processed meats and deli bacon sausage these are for mainly foreign people those are having more uh, sausage bacon and deli pickles in uh, vegetarian pickles right olives products also high in sodium sodium and urea is linked okay large portion of protein i already told poultry food seafood and milk grains vegetable soya protein and all soya 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 foods soya bean raw soya bean you can have nutrella but how many nutrella how much that dietitian can calculate and give you a daily quantity of soya bean or nutrella now what about the beans there are some pulses bean there are some green beans so what are the green beans you can take what are the pulses bean like kidney bean lima bean so kidney beans are not safe for severe kidney patients the broccoli is also not safe because it may cause a uh, high level of urea and some ammonia and other uh, excretory products so local greens local green beans you can have unwanted some sag sag means you know leaves leafy vegetables eh? spinach is also good but some extra spinach radish pumpkin okay all black seeds and all some some sort some people those people are suffering from uh, cyst in kidneys they should avoid uh, some uh, seeds right some chia seed flax seed and all pumpkin seed these are actually undigestible but sometimes those are finding constitutional laxative issue should have uh, seed but seeds are not always bad but sometimes bad so uh, some kind of preserved tomatoes some all tomatoes are not is not good you can have small tomato and green green type of tomato but avoid very red tomato and some uh, good looking tomatoes all good looking fruits and good looking packed packed for uh, fruits and vegetables are not somehow uh, good i am doubtful about their quality and their uses of pesticide and herbicides and all right avoid potatoes and sweet potatoes these are actually there are some for weight gain some are for urea some are for the potassium and uh, some are for sodium now what are the potassium food it's mentioned banana oranges prunes potato dal water brown rice tomato sauce sweet potato right you can see unnecessary soybean all khatta juice khatta citrus fruits uh, you must avoid un, uh, very excess level of amla if you are finding kidney problem problem so you must avoid uh, dal water you must avoid uh, excess tropicana maza fruity juice or musambi juice yeah, so you your potassium may go up so you control your potassium sodium phosphorus and so that you can manage your creatinine level and you manage your total uh, uh, kidney health okay now what are the high phosphorus food phosphorus is also i already told seafood and some cereal like excess spicy masala masala oats and uh, some sort of the, um uh, musli musli me there are musli having grains unwanted dry fruits unwanted dry fruits or spice wheat spices are not good high amount of oatmeal seeds and kula soda kula soda products right so you have to even mustard oil is not some of good even coconut is also good not good for overweight people so, so better you avoid better you take safflower oil or blending oil blending oil is some of good i must say different dietitian and different opinion different doctor different opinion but i have some i am a level 3 uh, fssci certified person and i can i am one research product on oil so what are the oil but i must i must not underestimate mustard oil the mustard oil is also good for young generation and some people but uh, most even mustard itself is allergic you must say that there are some some allergy taste are there so mustard is having a common allergy product so allergen is there right so rice bran uh, uh, cooking oil rice bran oil right or, or extra virgin edible olive oil and uh, you can control your seed and sprouts beans and marine food already i told these are also presence of phosphorus now what should be the actually planned diet in a three point i mentioned three point 
so low protein diet if you have weakness anemia and other vitamin issue hair fall right hair fall sugar fall hypoglycemia hypotension hypoxia then you must have supplementation need of supplementation you need some sugar free supplement you need some low protein supplement for that the dietitian would tell the best supplement for you and low sodium diets mostly salt you can use puro salt that is a product that is a salt puro salt or you can have sandak salt sandak black salt i guess rock salt but better you take mixed salt that's called puro salt marketed by hindustan unilever i think i'm not going to brand name it should not ethical to mention on promotion of any brand but i would say that uh, the generic product which you can buy so you can buy um, the rock salt or you can buy puro salt that's ready packed salt and that's good for and neither too much sodium not too much uh, uh, without even sodium is also required iodine is present in uh, white salt but you, if you are not taking so, so white salt table salt so you are losing some iodine also so you cannot go away as uh, one step ahead and one step backwards so every time there is a, a problem of pros and cons and steps and forward and backward issue so a lot of things you have to consider and reconsider and rethink and consult your physician and dietitian there are some uh, this ppt i would share to your uh, research circle madam and your portal you can use later right there are there is a source of national institute of nutrition what type of uh, reference calorie reference food pattern reference food intake to be should be there for children to elder person that should be a referencing right what are the uh, what are the referencing food types and percentage of food carbohydrate protein fat how you can segregate that is it is there here you can say you can use this slide this open access slide and i am but keep mentioning my slide in my name and you can use this slide and very good useful you can see if you are sedentary and 60 kg then you can have the calorie structure right if you are woman 55 now if you are more weight then you have to lose your calorie that percentage of calorie dietitian can calculate and give it to you now you are infant and in for infant for children and what should be the calorie what should be the protein now in case of ckd we are considering 40 g or less than 50 g protein not 60 g or not 70 g for 25 years of old man uh, going to gym may consider for 70 or 80 g of protein but if you are suffering from ckd stage 2 or stage 1 you should not have 60 g even you must have a 40 to 50 g or less or as per dietitian there is a calculation of protein for infant but they have less chances of ckd other than the autoimmune disorder but sometime adolescent are also having ckd but very less uh, only 2% in 1000 2% in 1000 okay but you could use your protein table here and calcium and iron because calcium iron is also co related with your kidney patient and kidney issues now what are the basic nuts and salad foods that you can manage as filler food you are saying sir you told to cut your carbohydrate cut the protein so what is retained what is for me yes there are so many fruits and vegetable salads that you can use as filler food the filler food means you can manage your calorie but you should not take dense calories so biryani and fried rice and rice and excess parotta chapati and all and uh, uh, potato sweet potatoes and all better you replace some nuts and although i am not saying that uh, i'm saying excess nuts to be avoided excess some sort of fruits avoided excess uh, or water from cucumber onion maybe high uh, phosphorus but it is in general i'm talking about in general right so it is written that man to man variable man to man person to person variable there are the percentage of sedentary moderate and heavy work what should be the cereal milk product leafy vegetable other this is for not for kidney patient let me clear it is this is in general for general uh, type of people as per working activities 
working style and activity styles okay now exercise have a good role even you are a mild level of kidney patient so you should have free and exercise and walking right you can have gym but not heavy you would have a, uh, some sort of uh, excess stress may damage your kidney or sudden death you have a lot of uh, report in recently that uh, so many gym people are dying because of an uh, uh, imbalance level of exercise on excess anaerobic function in body so better you control unwanted exercise same day same time that you can manage split way say 15 minutes four times 60 minutes in a way in a day okay and uh, what about daily work life balance that way you can manage study hour time management deviation effect uh, calorie chart mind setup no day sleep but day, no day sleep but uh, night sleep okay deep sleep and no day sleep avoid long study hour avoid non or not too long or working hour at the uh, night uh, excess uh, carbohydrate food ice cream coca cola in at night those are night shift working taking some calorie dense food okay two serving fruits must daily if there are some good uh, uh, exercise a uh, yoga you can manage at home just uh, keeping on floor mat or uh, on your bed that you manage for your stubborn fat and that control your kidney also so it is a vice versa ke we extra weight and extra um, uh, hormone level and you manage your weight and kidney health both all together and other comorbidity factors there are some publication uh, which i have done already madam said that i am more than 35 to 40 publications some are under considerations and i am working mainly thyroid and obesity and kidney disorder so this is my core topic okay i've been working on obesity thyroid and kidney disease and other related factors okay and what are the publication and books and book chapter i have four books you can uh, search in amazon anyone can buy ebook ebook is less costlier uh, cheaper than uh, paperback paperback is available out of india but ebook is available you can download in your kindle or mobile and that is not more than 250 to 300 rupees of cost i think so and you can get all about diet and various type of diet so what about take home message good health can be achieved instantly but not but constantly by consuming good food because food our safest medicine right what about what swami ji said swami vekanand said build up your health do not dwell in uh, silence upon your sorrows means don't keep hide your problem your health issues silently come out with your problem share the health issues with your friends and families and your best friend your doctor your dietitian and you come out with a problem don't uh, swell dwell with silence and thank you very much any questions or any suggestion so that i can come out better and i can attend next time again thank you very much for your keep patience listening thank you very much yes hello 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 sir your voice is not clear madam hello now is yes yes clear yes, sir yes yes clear tell me okay. yes please tell me madam uh, thank you so much for this uh, very informative and demonstrative session we will ask our participant to put on your question in a comment box we will try to provide the answer by dr swapan uh, dentistian swapan banerji below the comment and thank you so much uh, all the participate your active participation let me inform to all that this complete session will be available on our research circle youtube channel so if you want to watch it again or want to share it somebody please do visit research circle youtube channel and thanks not uh, and the last but not the least thank you um swapan banerji sir for taking our time uh, for the session with our permission i would like to end today's session here thank you sir thank you